This is Pony Prepper Bill. Um, today, I'm going to make a video. I'm just going to do a, a couple of minutes of the construction and stuff of my chicken coop that I'm doing. And then some stuff I think we should talk about with the shortages and stuff going on. But in the meantime, make sure you like and make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification button. I don't make videos every day so people forget and they don't get notified and so just check make sure you like subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell and I'll be right back I just want to put this out there this is how messed up stuff has gotten the forest fire service stuff all the vehicles I got over here the, the Brendan T burn state forest somebody broke in last night every one of the forest fire trucks the brush trucks the cars all that somebody broke in and stole all the catalytic converters out of all the trucks there's a lot of vehicles out here shit's messed up but all the stuff that's going on, been busy, and we've been talking about getting chickens for a long time. And I think we're actually going to, well, we're going to pull the trigger now. I'm getting ready to build a chicken coop. I bought a bunch of wood. I got some metal roofing. And over here is where it's kind of going to go, I think. But been watching videos and looking stuff up online for chicken coops and what's best and what size and some I like some I don't some I like but I have issues with certain things that I don't like so I'm kind of building it by scratch a little bit of this person's a little bit of that person's a little bit from this book a little bit from that book um, the size that I wanted I can't do because of the shortages and stuff I should have done this three years ago. It would have been half the price. Price of a two by four is eleven dollars. Three years ago, it was like three fifty, four dollars. So this is costing way more than what I wanted. And we were going to tractor supply and looking at these little ones that say they're good for ten to twelve to fourteen chickens. They're not. It's the size of a shoebox. Uh, so, and th the one we were looking at was thirteen hundred dollars or fourteen hundred dollars, and it's it's a little tiny thing it's uh I, it's made from china uh, i look at reviews and it you know a little bit of a windstorm that thing's flying away so i'm going to build it a little bit heavy duty it's costing more than i wanted and some of the stuff i can't get the metal roofing is either an eight foot lengths or like 14. nowhere around here within 100 miles can i get 10 or 12 footers so i wanted to make the the coop 8 by 12 or 8 by 14 and that's with the coop and the run but the problem is the roofing I, I didn't want to I'm no good I'm not a carpenter I'm I can build shit okay but I'm not a builder and I'm not a roofer and things just aren't going the way I wanted to I bought all this wood was in my, well all that wood was in my trailer got home was planning on doing all this work and it was going to rain for seven days. And then it's five days. It was going to rain yesterday, so I got some more stuff. I got to go from store to store to store. Because <laughs> they, got, they got the screws. One had roofing. One didn't have roofing. One didn't even have any straight two-by-fours. I'm in like ten stores. So it probably cost me $1,000 in gas. So this is, I don't know how much of a video i'm going to do on the build because i just want to build it and get done with rain coming and i don't have time to really do a step-by-step -step video i don't know if you can hear the jets all day all day they've been flying the jets doing the bombing runs the chicken's been jumping. 
sounds like uh, World of Worlds or something. Let me see here. So I got the two, the front and the back walls done. We doing chicken? Do chicken? What are you doing down there? What are you doing? Got a little bit more done on the chicken coop. Um, I was going to do like a video on how I was building it, but I was doing it by scratch and in my head. And I had to do things over and over and over again. Uh, things just didn't work the way I thought they were going to. But this is what I got so far. I got, let me spin this around. Of course, the sun's not really working for me. Got this set up. I got all my tools in here because we had like a week. A week of rain then two or three days that were good and then a week of rain I got the nesting boxes in a lot of people have the nesting boxes on the outside and there was one similar to this I don't know if you can really see it I'm trying to get away from the Sun but they had the nesting boxes here on the outside or on this side but if it's raining or snowing, you got to come out like twice a day to check the eggs. I just figured it'd be easier to go inside. I still got to put the door in. I got to make a door. But here's the nesting boxes I got. Open her up. Full of tools. I got four nesting boxes. I still got to put the door in over there for them to come in and out. I got it pretty much screened in. But I got to do something up here because people were talking about raccoons climbing up the outside and climbing in. So I got to do something with that. So, I mean, that's what I got on the chicken coop so far. I messed up with the, the size for the door. So now i got to come up with something. It's a little bit narrower than I wanted. It's two foot. You really can't get a wheelbarrow in there, but I still got to do stuff with the ground. i got to level it up and put like a bath of sand, uh, what do they call it, underneath here. It's mostly screened in except for one piece. i got to get back there, but we've had rain. It was 80 degrees, and then it was 60, and then it was 40. Freezing rain, how to get firewood and stuff like that. But a couple of things I wanted to talk about was, you know, there's shortages, the prices. Uh, I mean, like uh, the last two times we went to get pig food, we were paying 16 or 18 dollars a bag, and now it's 34 dollars a bag. At least that it was last time. I don't know what it is. We got to get pig food next week. Ooh. That's my door creaking. Um, eggs. We were paying at BJ's seven something for eggs. Then it went up to eight forty nine or eight ninety nine. And then my wife went two weeks ago, I think, and bought eggs, and they were thirteen or fourteen ninety nine. That's how much it. I mean, they they doubled. Almost doubled, just like the pig food. Some people don't see a shortage. Some people aren't seeing price increases because they're not paying attention. You know, it's when people come to the store, like, okay, yeah, well, this went up 45 cents, this went up a dollar, this went up 25 cents. But that's from last time you went. If you look at what it was two years ago, it's gone up a lot. But people aren't. A lot of people I, I talk to 
don't see it and aren't paying attention, oh, it's no big deal. It's, it's only 15 cents. Well, it's a dollar forty-five compared to last year. It's almost double compared to last year. Whatever it is. And you know, other people talking about you know, don't be stocking up. You know, everybody's got an opinion. Okay. What I talk about, what I say on here is my opinion based on fact and what I'm finding out. You know, take it or leave it. You know, it, it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not saying, you know, sell your house, you know, and, you know, trade in your 401, sell in your 401k and your pension and stock up and buy a bunker and buy, you know, $100,000 worth of food. But it wouldn't hurt to stock up. But everybody has an opinion, okay? And opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got them. Take it for what it's worth. Uh, I was watching one guy, supposedly a prepper, and he's talking about... um. Preppers are marauders. Preppers have a theft mentality. They'll steal everything you have. I don't know who he's watching. Um, this one guy, he's a great farmer. He's got pigs, chickens, you know, cattle. He's got all kinds of stuff. But he said he would never buy MREs. He would never buy any freeze-dried food. He's got a bunch of frozen meat in a freezer. Um... He says, he's not worried about the power going out. If the power ever goes out, it'll be back on within two weeks. There's no reason to have any more than two to three work, weeks worth of food. That, that's, you know, that's his opinion. Uh, you know, good for him. But if the power does go out, like the stuff that's going on with Russia and stuff right now, our electric grid is crap. It's antiquated. It's falling apart. Um, the power's going out all the time. And if it does go out, you know, if there is an EMP, which is more likely than anything these days, it's going to be out for a long time. So, I mean, if this guy, that's his opinion. If he wants to have, you know, 16 freezers full of, you know, meat, that's great, you know. But if the power goes out for a long time, all that meat's going to be bad. Uh, I'm not telling anybody what to do. I don't want to be a fear monger or any of that of this door, but I think you should be stocking up a little bit here and there. And this other guy's talking about preppers are buying, stocking up on canned meat and canned tuna and all this stuff because prices are going to get high. So, and the prices are going to come down next year. So you're buying all this meat at high prices and next year you got overpriced meat. That's not why preppers are buying uh, food. They're not buying it because prices are going high. We're buying it because of shortages and you might not get it. So, I mean, that's his opinion. And, you know, this is my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. I mean, I think you ought to be stocking up a little bit here and there when you go to the store. Buy an extra can of this, a little can of that. Another thing, a cup of noodles. People are like, oh, well, that's got this in it, that's got that in it. It's not good for you. It's, you know, oh, that's pasteurized. It doesn't matter. It's food. Food will get you going. If, you know, you're looking for certain food and certain meats and you only eat this and eat that, you're going to starve. My opinion. Um, I, I just don't get where a lot of these people are coming from. And they're... I don't, I don't even know where to start with some of these. Some of these preppers are just nuts. They're telling you not to stock up. Preppers are crazy. You know what? If everything does take a shit, which I think it is, I mean, the government and the CDC and the food, all these food processing plants are burning, crash, or, you know, planes are crashing into things. Fertilizer plants burning down. Processing plants burning down. A lot more than usual. Believe who you want and, you know, do your own research on all this stuff. You know, don't take anybody's word for it. Do what's best for you. You know, me and my family, we're stocking up a little bit here and there. You know, we're not... Yeah, the prices have gone up, but I'd rather pay a little bit higher price today. I mean, I'm not paying $100 for a, a can of tuna fish. But if nothing happens, you know, if everything goes back to normal in six months from now and everything's fine, 
so I got some extra food, you know, for a rainy day. And you, you should be rotating your food anyway. So what I bought two years ago, we're eating today. What we're buying today, we'll be eating two years from now, or three years, or four years, whatever it is. But if I'm wrong, if most preppers are wrong, and nothing happens, and nothing collapses, and the power never goes out, and what's the worst that happened? You have a little bit of extra food in your pantry, right? No big deal. If you listen to these other people, and you don't do anything, and you don't stock up, and if they're wrong, if I'm wrong, you have extra food. It's no big deal. If they're wrong, a lot of people are going to starve to death. A lot of people are going to be dying. A lot of people are going to, be, if they listen to them, are going to be looking for food. And, I mean, these prepper networks, you know, maybe they're a good thing. But, you know, I've known people all my life. I have friends, family members that I've grown up with. Great friends, would do anything for them. And when it came time to help me to do something, they weren't there. Or they bitched, complained. Uh, some of them, as far as I'm concerned, if anything happened, they would rat you out in a minute uh, for anything, you know, for a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, you got to trust your neighbors to an extent. You you, you want to know your surroundings. But some of these prepper networks, they, they got, you know, an Internet, a website. You go there and you hook up with like minded people and they're from another state or maybe they're in your state. Do you, you don't know these people, you know? You're hooking up with people and telling them what you have, where you live, and maybe they're telling you what they got, but how do you know they're not going to turn on you when shit does hit the fan, if it ever does? I just don't, I don't, unless I know the people, I, I, I don't, I'm not hooking up with them. And I know people that were, you know, the, the pandemic didn't bother them. They didn't lose their job. They actually got a raise and they're loving it. Like, oh, that, this is the best thing that's ever happened. I'm doing great. Bought a car, getting uh, real expensive apartments or houses. And, and guess what? They were told the other day that they can't afford all the employees at $30 an hour now. And because every, everybody got a raise. So what are they doing? They're cutting everybody's hours in half. And these people are losing their freaking mind. They don't know what to do. Like, oh my God. Like, well, you're still making $30 an hour. Yeah, but I'm getting like 15 to 18, maybe 20 hours a week. I can't live off of that. I got a car payment. I got this. I got that. I got this. I got that. I just moved. Well, how long did you think it was going to last? I don't know, people. So what are your thoughts on the prices we can still get stuff. I mean, there's there's really nothing that we haven't been able to get. Some prices have skyrocketed. Some things went up a little bit, you know, as usual. But, you know, we used to spend a certain amount of money. Because we would go to BJ's and... Look at chickens out here. The neighbor's chickens. As I was building a chicken coop, they were in here the other day all over climbing in here walking around in here so chickens other chickens do like my coop but there's really nothing we haven't been able to get but like i was saying we used to go to bj's and like once a month and like stock up you know a family of four we would spend a couple hundred hours we'd have two shopping carts now we got almost a full shopping cart and we're still spending the same amount of money we're getting half amount of half amount of the stuff but we're still spending the same amount of money so you can't tell me prices haven't gone up another person i know is like i don't know what you're talking about you know gas is up but i haven't noticed anything nothing it's no big deal and you know his wife is like don't listen to him he doesn't do the shopping he never leaves the freaking house she does it all and she's like everything is expensive so i mean it's not the end of the world yet could be coming the stuff with russia who the hell knows we might be nuked we might lose power and trump's running again people think trump's going to save the world and there's people there's a lot of hump, uh, a lot of trump haters so who knows if trump does <laughs> trump does get in in two years 
Uh, that could be a giant war here. So you don't know what's going to happen. But as far as I'm concerned, if you have a little bit of something, if nothing happens, it it's no big deal. But if you do nothing and something happens, I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, would you rather listen to somebody that tells you everything's great, spend your money, buy stocks and bonds, or would you rather listen to somebody that's going to tell you how to survive? You know, this chicken coop is taking me a lot longer than expected. Everything has gone up. The price of the wood has gone up. The price of the freaking roof is like $40 a sheet. You just see me putting that roof up. Yeah, that was fun. But I'll use chickens. Hey, Jack. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, do you think shit's going to hit the fan? Do you think everything's getting better? The stuff with Ukraine and Russia, I think is a distraction. Uh, Elon Musk buying Twitter, who gives a shit? Uh, I think that's a distraction. Now this man got all this freaking money. The Tesla is the biggest piece of crap. Like everyone's been recalled and catching on fire. Why well, anybody would buy one of those things is beyond me, but it's my opinion. So, this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.